without him on the football field, they putting all the pressure on Dak Prescott now. And that is unacceptable. Because what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, man. Mr. Facts over feelings, man. Facts over feelings. Now it's been a while since I did a video, so we got a lot of catching up to do. But a lot of y'all stay tuned, so we don't gotta go over everything. But Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, and Jerry Jones has been in the news lately. Like as always, as always, because we got Dak Prescott right here, still out here getting hated on. Some people love him, some people hate him. <laughs> But we ain't won no championship or been in no NFC championship long before Dak Prescott got here, but he get all the blame. Then we got CeeDee Lamb right here, ain't came to camp and ain't, and ain't shouldn't come to camp. I don't blame him. And before I step on the field, I want all my money, all of it. I step out there and get hurt, man. No, I'm not doing it. So I don't blame you. But then we got Jerry Jones. What Jerry Jones out here doing, Cowboy Nation? He out here being Jerry Jones, saying a whole bunch of nothing. A whole bunch of words that don't mean nothing. When he know, just like I know, and a lot of y'all know, I'm going to pay all these dudes. That Prescott going to get his money, whether it's before the season, during the season, or before next season. If he don't, he just going to go somewhere else and get paid. C.D. Lamb, he going to get his paper. Jerry Jones ain't going to start the season without C.D. Lamb. Come on, man. Come on, man. Jerry Jones like to make headlines, man. He like to make headlines. And Jerry Jones do not want Dak Prescott to succeed. That's what I feel, man. He want to win because he a cow. He owned the Cowboys, but he don't want Dak Prescott to do it. And I'm going to let y'all hear Emmitt Smith say exactly what I'm basically saying. Then we're going to come back and break it down. Check it out. Without him on the football field, they putting all the pressure on Dak Prescott now. And that is unacceptable because every quarterback of his caliber should have quality people to throw the ball to. Not no plan B or no plan C or no plan D guy. He should be in a position, as your franchise quarterback, he should be in a position to be successful. And right now, you're putting him behind the eight ball. And that is not right. And that's how I see it. Now, y'all heard that, man. Hall of Famer, Pro Bowl, Super Bowl running back for the Dallas Cowboys, Emmitt Smith. Y'all heard him. Not, don't, don't take it from me. Y'all just heard the man. Y'all just heard him. Man, every quarterback deserves some receivers. Somebody they can throw the ball to. But you got CeeDee Lamb out here ain't getting his money because Jerry Jones out here being cheap. The Dallas Cowboys is the, the lowest money spent team damn near in the whole NFL. But I'm supposed to take the pay cut, but y'all ain't spending the money. Come on, man. Come on, man. Y'all gotta stop this, man. Y'all gotta stop this. Jerry Jones is tripping, but let's move on to Trey Lance. Trey Lance had a pretty decent game the other day. I'm not a hater of Trey Lance. I just think it ain't his time to take over for the Dallas Cowboys. But then we got some Cowboy fans that just hating on Trey Lance. Oh, he was sorry. Oh, he didn't play that good. Man, he played as, as good as he could have played. For my, in my opinion, I'm not a, hate, a Trey Lance hater. He just ain't better than Dak Prescott. He just ain't. And if you try Trey Lance out there on the field, at the start of the season, y'all going to see how good he is. He going to get exposed. Exposed, bro. I'm just saying. Whether it's Trey Lance or, or whoever, or Dak Prescott, you don't got nobody to throw the ball to. You're not going to be successful, man. You're just not going to be successful. The Dallas Cowboys, the last couple of years, been what, 12 and 5? I don't see that this year. I see us making the playoffs, but I don't see that this year. Then Jerry Jones talk about the salary cap. We can't pay Dak Prescott. We can't pay CD Lamb. We can't do this. They didn't do nothing in the offseason. All this all-in nonsense didn't do nothing. And like I told y'all before in my other video, I want the San Francisco 49ers salary cap. I want the Philadelphia Eagles salary cap. Because no matter what happens, no matter who they got to sign, they always get it done. Period. They always get it done. But what Jerry Jones do? Sit back and do nothing, Cowboy Nation. Cowboy Nation, we're going to end for a long season this year. We're going to have some ups. We're going to have some downs. But it's just going to be, we're going to get a lot of media attention because we're probably going to be getting smacked around in the beginning of the season. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's just keep it 100. And I think Dak Prescott going to still put up some crazy numbers. And all you Cowboy fans or Cowboy Dak Prescott haters out there ain't going to like it because the dude going to be in the top five in stats <laughs> again because I know C I'm, a, I'm anticipating CeeDee Lamb going to play. The only thing about CeeDee Lamb that I don't really like about right now, because if I was him, I would hold out too. I ain't touching the field till I get my money. But at the same time, him not being in, in camp, I just don't want him to get like a soft tissue injury or something like that for not being out there. You know, I'm pretty sure he's working out and stuff like that, but I, I, we don't want to start the season with no injury. And CeeDee Lamb is the whole offense. Dak Prescott got all the leverage. 
You can't trade me. You can't franchise tag me. I'm a, I'm a free agent at the end of the year. I got all the leverage. CD Lamb got all the leverage. I'm like 80%, if not 90% of the Cowboy offense. You got to pay me. You got to pay me. He the top five in wide receivers, in my opinion. So if them dudes is getting $25, $30 million a year, that's what I want if I'm CD Lamb. But put y'all opinions in the comment section. Again, like I told y'all, it's facts over feelings over here, man. And I'm back. I'm going to be dropping videos throughout the week sometime, man. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and drop a comment in the comment section. Talk to me. I talk back. Peace.